Hello everyone, my name is Shaq Muffin for all you don't know, and welcome back to the Hardcore GIM series with the Team TSMK. Right now, in this episode, we're looking to do Zaya Easy, Gertrude's Cat, Artie Easy, Fishing Trawler Completion, and Boin Voyage for Fossil Island. Overall, boys, in the last episode, we got ourselves the most important aspect for ourselves to be kept alive, Protection Prayers, and from there we've done a whole bunch of other quests, and got ourselves some more skills uh, for being leveled up and whatnot. So we're here at 675 total level, and let's move on into the little bit of progress that we'll make in this video. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we're looking to do, lads, is to get Rune Mysteries done, because we need our RD Elite done first. I think it'll be a lot better overall, because of all the teleports and everything like that. So, we gotta talk to the Duke and get this quest going, and then we can get Rune Crafting unlocked. That's not that cool. Quest completed. Hey, there we go. Rune Crafting unlocked. I am so excited about that team. No, I'm not. I don't think the. I think the only person that's excited about runecrafting being unlocked is Silver. Like literally, Silver loves runecrafting. It, it blows my mind, man, of how he enjoys it so much. But hey, man, to each his own. I just, it's not for me. You make a lot of money from it, but it's not for me, man. Plague City done, so that means you can move on to Biohazard. Hey, yo, gang, I got some pretty important information. I just want to let you know, my guy, the plague is a hoax. But the thing is. You already know that. All right, boys. Biohazard coming in. Quest requirement. And we get ourselves quest points. And full West already access. That means we can give away our cat. Very, very nice. But we actually need to get a cat first. Which means that we need to do Gertrude's cat. Will that be up next? I don't know. We will find out, though. Selling the silk. Done. I already have thieved the cake, so we've already done that one. Checking if I have any insured pets, which I don't. Done. Prayer at the altar. Done. Teleport to the rune mines. Completed. Come on. Hey, there we go. Did it. All right, boys. It is nine o'clock on Monday. We're going in blind. I really hope there's no one here. I really, 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 really hope there's no one here. There's no one here. Cool. We good. We fine. We Gucci. <laughs> okay. That's all done. Enter the combat training camp. I think you just, yeah, you just literally go through the front gate. Easy peasy, boys. On to the next one. Browse the shop. Come on. Come back here, dude. Completed. Now we gotta do fishing trawler. So, it looks like I'm just gonna be here with fishing trawler for the meantime. I need to get a rusty sword, but the only way I can get that is really by fishing trawler so i might as well go for the full angler outfit while i'm here and that way if i go to temporos i can uh get that spirit fishing outfit whatever it is so looks like i'll be here for a little while hopefully i have enough money for all the swamp pace that i need and i haven't done this activity in like over a year so i know it changed a little bit i don't know how much it's changed but yeah we'll see dude first one we get lucky let's go man Oh my goodness, we are so lucky, man. Oh, I need 34 fishing to weld to wield the angler outfit. I did not know that. I can't even wear it yet. <laughs> All right, we got the rusty sword, so we can get that underway for that achievement. But at the same time, I want to get the fishing outfit, so I want to do that first before we go through. Yo, 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 we got the angler pants. Let's go, man. Pansu, yes. Pansu tags. I'm getting pretty lucky with these angler pieces, man. Uh, this is the third of the fourth. Or three. What? Is that even English? It's my third one of the set. We only have one more to go. And I think I've only done like 20 fishing trawler trips. So we might be done fairly soon. You know, I realized something. I don't think I actually went over fishing trawler. Well, for people that don't know, fishing trawler is basically going on a boat. And uh, your boat is 
you know, paper mache at this point, and uh, you take the swamp paste, you fill up the holes, sometimes there's water that comes in the boat, you gotta bail out the boat, and then there's a kraken attack, you gotta swing your hatchet and defeat the kraken, and repair the damage that it has done, and repair the net and everything. Basically, it's pretty simple, you AFK until you get, I personally like to do 100 contribution, that's where I like to go, but um, for me, I just go to the back of the boat, or is this the front i don't even know and wait for these holes to cart uh wait for these holes to start pouring out uh some water and then i take my swamp paste i just cl left click on it and i just plug the holes in. so that's what i do it's pretty simple um you can get swamp paste from the port kazard shop uh and the bailing bucket can be bought for i think it's like 10 coins from the general store in port kazard other than that that's really a fishing trawler you just want to make sure that the net is repaired um, otherwise you won't be getting the rewards and we kind of want our angler outfit so that would be no bueno but overall that's really it once I get to 100 contribution I just stop I just watch some videos and if I feel like bailing out some water with the bailing bucket and then I go and deal with that but that's really it's a fishing trawler nothing too intensive nothing too fun about it either and apparently they changed this like a year ago or so so this contribution thing where you earn points towards what is it 250 as a max that's uh, fairly new, but overall, same concept for what you need to do. Nothing too intensive about this, and it's still boring as ever. Yes, I'm all done. I got the angler boots. Finally, I can leave this place once and for all, team. And I got to level up. Look at that. Wow. From the rusty sword that we got from fishing trawler. I couldn't even think of what the name of it was. But we will complete an easy. Oh, I got interrupted because I didn't even realize C Engineer tells you that you get an achievement diary completed. But anyways, we got ourselves a steel longsword. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well get the second one. See what we get it to be. Oh, okay, an iron longsword. Cool. All right, so we can go get our Artie cloak now. With the easy diary completion for Artie, we go to two pints to get ourselves the Artie cloak. And I uh, will use this antique lamp on prey. I need 30. Level 30 or above. I think the best. Yeah, best bet's gonna be prayer. Nice. Prayer XP. I wish I had herb lore, but I do not. I'm gonna see if I can drop this cloak. Can I drop it? Okay, can I get another one? Uh, can I have another cloak? Oh, cool, 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 cool. Alright, so I can do some drop tricks. I'll get three. I think three should be fine uh, for now, for whatever reason. But now we have already cloak. And our next task that we need to do, or we would like to do for this video. So we have already elite done. We have the fishing trawler completion because we've got all four of our angler pieces. Now we're looking to do Zaya Easy, Gertrude's Cat, and Boyne Voyage. So, um, did I say Boyne? I meant to say bone, bone voyage, jeez, man. So those are the next three tasks that I'd like to do for this video. I think I, I, I don't know which one I want to do first. Maybe Gertrude's cat, it's pretty simple. Um, I think Gertrude's cat because I have already cloaked now so I can easily teleport. I'm just speaking out loud, but I think that's what I'd like to do. Get ourselves a 200 death rune producer. Yeah, that's really fucked up, man. Like, you know, we're only using these cats for death runes, man. <sighs> yikes you know yikers man all right it's one of those things where if you don't do this you can't do that and if you can't do that then you need to do this first so all right rundown i need to do x marks the spot in order to have the quest the depths of despair done that way i can get 20 percent easy you know free favor from or sorry, 20% favor for whatever house I want. Piscarellius is absolutely terrible. Get the 100% favor and then do Hasidius because I need 15 Hasidius favor to steal from the stall. You see how where this all goes? So, all right, we got our cat. <laughs> we're good there. Now we're gonna do X marks the spot. Let's do this quest. It's just all running around. Should be fine. Pretty simple quest. Just running around, digging up spots. You guys probably already know this. I actually have never done this quest on my main account. 
And a beginner clue scrolls are a reward. Very nice. Uh, you know what? You know what? I want to do this. I want to see what we can get for a beginner clue. I want to see if I can be as lucky as Kayla for uh, getting a ham joint on the very first one. Or is that easy clue? I don't know, man. Either way, just I want to see what we can get as a reward. Boys, first milestone on the account. The first ever stash unit to be built. Oh my goodness. And to think we're going to have to get a Zamorak and God Sword. Alright, so for this one, I had a gold ring in the bank from Bird's Nest. Gold necklace, I used Telegrab on the Western uh, Western Varrock Bank seller. And we got to do one more step, potentially. Speak to Reldo to receive a strange... Oh, okay, pretty simple. Alright, put these in the stash unit. And if I ever have to do another beginner clue... We're all set for uh, this one. Moment of truth for our first beginner casket. Steel plate skirt. Ooh. Oh, law runes. No, no, dude. That's huge. Law runes? We don't have that many. I know I don't. I don't know about anyone else on the team, but that's actually pretty massive for me. Law runes? <laughs> yeah, dude. I'll take those. And we have completed the clients of Corend. That way we can get ourselves some favor for Priscrelius and an antique lamp we're going to use on herblore of course and we leveled up herblore 14 herblore let's go and we get the core end memory things and now we're going to do the queen of thieves so we can get 30 percent favor Priscrelius so we can do the sandworms another quest done queen of thieves so we have 30 percent Priscrelius favor with our where is it do we is it just automatically unlocked no, is there? Oh, here it is. The favor. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. So now we can do the sandworms. Um, basically, we collect sandworms and we get the sandworms, put them in a bucket, and then we give it to a guy. We get 100% Prescribe's favor. So right now, I need 1500 to catch sandworms. We're at level 1, Slayer, and level 1 Hunter. Now, you probably already know this, but the Varric Museum, if you give the facts correctly on these plaques for all these display cases, you get 1000 XP and Hunter and Slayer. So that'll automatically jump me to 9. And then afterwards, we can do a little bit of Hunter training to get to 15. And then we can do the sandworms, and we'll be all set and get ourselves 100% Piscarelli's favor. Easy level, boys. Nine for both. All right, so since I need 15 Hunter, I'm here at Piscatoris Hunter area, and we're catching these, what are these? Copper Longtails. So from here, I'm going to get to 15 Hunter. I find that this is the best place to catch these guys. There's so many of them. Uh, there might be an easier way to have gotten to 15 Hunter, but I'd rather just get it and then go on my way. And from here, just get a little bit of prayer XP, drop these bird meats on the ground. I don't know what these feathers are for. But overall, waiting till 15 Hunter. We're at 12. Probably will be done in like 15, 20 minutes. And then I'll go and do the sandworms. And then by that time, I'll be done. And you guys will see an update of the clip. All right, our last inventory of the buckets. And we should get 100%. Hey, there we go. Piscarelius done. Let's go. All right. Speak to Hosa to contribute to the statue. Okay. Alright, so I would like to do the Depths of Despair quest. In order to do that, we need 20% Hasidius favor. Right now, from 0 to 5%, we're going to plow this field. And then from 5% to 20, we're going to do some, like, you put, like, buckets and compost together with saltpeter or something like that. And then from there, after that, we do the quest, we get 10% favor, and then we just finish up with compost and everything. That is the game plan. I want to get 100%. Alright, so we just got through collecting a good amount of saltpeter. I spent about an hour with it. And the thing about saltpeter is that if you haven't earned it from Chambers of Zeric or Winter Todd, you're gonna be digging <laughs> you're gonna be digging for a long while. Um, even with an hour in of doing that activity, I was I still only got like maybe I don't know uh 800 or so maybe maybe a thousand i'm not really sh too sure i know they did get some from winter i don't know how much though also if you're wondering on how you can make the fertilizer for the city's favor really quickly uh, this is how i do it basically you take 14 out and you just keep going down the line and swapping in between and everything like that uh obviously i'm messing it up because i'm doing live commentary but yeah, it happens 
Depths of Despair completed for that easy 10% uh, Hasidious Favor. So let's get ourselves the Hasidious Favor. And if we check our Corin Favor, we're at 43% because I did some fertilizer from before, as I stated. And now we just need to do the remaining about 600 left. So probably within, I'm going to say half an hour is our estimate for 100% Hasidious Favor. And then we can move on to the Zaya Easy Diary. Got through the 600 or so fertilizer for our Hasidious Favor. And we talked to the clerk and we should be all set. We only need 570. Donate the fertilizer. We're at 100%. We are good to go. We got 100% Hasidious Favor. Let's go team. So one of these things, just to let you know if you don't know, Hasidious Favor, really good because you can access the Woodcutting Guild as well as you can access the mess hall, I think it's called the mess hall, where you can get this range where it gives you invisible cooking boost, which is better than most ranges. So that's the whole reason why, but the main thing is the Zaya Easy Diary completion. So we're gonna go do that and get all this stuff done. Enter my house from Hasidius, completed. Steal from the fruit stall, completed. Ooh, and I got apple, ooh. Next up is to kill a sand crab, and that is completed right now. Travel to Land's End, completed. Next up is browsing the Warner's, Warren's, sorry, Warren's shop. Yeah, Warren's. What the heck, Warner's, man? What is this, Warner Brothers? No, 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 Warren's, okay, yeah. Anyways, that's completed. Brad the Elder at the top of the Coronan Castle, completed. Heal a wounded soldier in the Shazian area. Come make a strength potion in the deeper load. Help this dude in the Arceus library about finding his book. Completed. Mine some iron ore on Mount Karoom. Completed. So we have completed our easy achievement diary for uh, Zaya. We just caught ourselves the trout. So I'm going to go to the center point of Zaya and we're going to go talk to one of the NPCs to get ourselves the Rada Blessing. And that way we can have a 2% uh, chance to double the amount of fish that we caught when we're fishing. Oh boy, the woman that we need to talk to, the top of the hour being Ellis, of her giving us the Rada's Blessing 1. And of course we're going to do some drop tricks so that we can get another Rada's Blessing just in case. Even though I don't want to die or lose it or anything, but we'll... Alright, two... Yeah, three. Three should be fine. And the lamp need to be 30 or above. I'll do it on prayer. Got the 44 prayer. Very nice. In order to do the quest point voyage, I need to do dig site quest. So in order to get that done, there is a small chance of getting a charcoal from paneling or panhandling, I meant to say. So with that, I need to go here to the fishing hamlet, which is out by Winter Todd. And these dead trees, so fishing hamlet, right next to Winter Todd. This area actually has burnt trees here and they always have a 100% chance of giving you charcoal. And charcoal is used in a lot of different quests, so I might as well like collect a good amount of them and give some to my team. So if you guys need some charcoal, this is where you can go and get some. This one took a little bit longer than anticipated. And also, I love the Zaros timeline of quests and everything like that. They're, it's the most, un most interesting thing in this game, honestly. But who cares about that? 15,000 mining XP, 2,000 herb ore, 2 gold bars. Very nice. What levels do we get? 33 mining. Holy moly, that's massive. 20 herb ore as well. Very, very nice indeed. Now let's move on to the other things I needed to do, like the 100 kudos that I need. Okay, I think Ironman Luck does exist because I took an inventory worth of what I can hold for these dig site specimen rocks. I got an old coin, pottery, Old symbol and ancient symbol. I'm pretty sure that these four, yeah, I think that's 40 points. Wait, what? Do I have to speak? Wait, hold on. I I, I gotta check. I'm pretty sure in the yeah, pottery, old symbol, yeah, I got four of the five in one inventory. How lucky is that? What the heck? It took like 10 minutes to find all the stuff that I needed, and we are at 78 kudos, so we're all done with the finds for the. Varak Museum, so now I can go do quests in order to get the remaining kudos, and it looks like I have to do a good amount of quests. I'm at 78 right now, 
So I'm going to have to go through this quest list and see what else what else I could do. And hold on, before I leave, I'm at 78. I think I just said I'm at 78. So let's see, I'm at 78. So I got to get to 100. So probably there's got to be some other stuff here that I can do. I'll check out the wiki. And the Grand Tree is completed onto a different quest. Demon Slayer completed. After speaking with the Historian, I've added on to the Museum of Information, and we have 103 kudos now, which means we can do Bone Voyage. And we officially have access to Fossil Island. Bone Voyage is completed. Very nice, very, very, very nice indeed. I want to travel to the land and get ourselves this bank completed, because this is pretty important. Nice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy boys. And today's episode is done lads. Looking at the amount of skills progress we've made. We've made some mining, we've made some slayer, hunter, farming, and overall a pretty decent amount of quests done I'd say. As well as of course Corrend Favor done as well. And now we got to get into our usual outro section. As always, Kayla's killing it, going for RFD as of right now. Next up, we have Silver. Of course, boys, don't want to spoil anything on his series, so you need to go check out his channel for his progress updates. And finally, we have Tags, who is jack of all trades right now, but looking to do RFD as well. Of course, thank you to our channel membership supporters through the month supporting this channel, and those special individuals are Z Kenzel, Orosaurus Grogu, Parth Patel, David Bell, Trekkie Tech, and Brennan Michael. Thank you lads for supporting this channel, as well as all the other individuals in the Rocky Raccoon tier. And with that boys, my name's Shank Muffin, I'm signing out, please enjoy this outro.